Hey guys, today we're going to be celebrating a very special milestone here on my channel, and that is that I recently reached 100,000 subscribers, which to me is mind blowing. When I started this channel four and a half, almost five years ago, I never thought that this would ever happen. And I've actually been waiting to make this video the past several weeks. My channel hit 100,000, I wanna say it was three, four weeks ago now, and then it dipped below 100 again, then it went back up. And the reason why it does that is because it triggers something over on YouTube's side where then they have to certify your channel and make sure that it's legitimate before they can send you your plaque. So at that time, they were going through all my subscribers, making sure that there were no fake subscribers or bots or anything weird going on. And in that process, like every day, I would kind of lose a few and then it would dip below 100, then it would go back up. So I really wanted to wait to make this video until it was actually official. So finally, like two weeks ago, they emailed me. They said I could order my plaque, which I did, and it finally, came in so here it is I will admit when this showed up in the mail I definitely teared up a little I didn't think I was going to but when I just opened the box and I saw it my husband was standing there with me and he's also just been such a huge support to me with this channel with my blog before that really just supporting me every step of the way and it was honestly just such an amazing feeling so um, I'm probably gonna get a little bit emotional but honestly I I could not have gotten here without you guys. You're all so amazing and I always say this, but I literally have the nicest subscribers on YouTube. You're all so kind, supportive. I do deal with negative comments once in a while, but they're very few and far between. And I just can't thank you enough because you've really made this process so much easier for me than I feel like it could have been. I am definitely an introvert and it was not easy for me to put myself out there and start a YouTube channel. I was so nervous about what people would say. I didn't want to get picked apart. I've seen it happen so many times on other channels. I know that there are forums out there that exist to gossip about YouTubers and the thought of being the subject of gossip and negative comments really terrified me. But you all have been so amazing and for that I am truly grateful. We're gonna be doing some giveaways in today's video because I really wanna give back to you guys. But before we do that, I thought it would be fun to kind of just go back in time a little bit and talk about how I started my channel in the first place. Some of you have actually been with me since I was a blogger and others are new to my channel. So for those of you who have been with me since my blogging days it'll be a fun kind of nostalgic look back for those of you who are new you'll get to see how I actually got to be on YouTube in the first place and looking back to when I was in high school I always wanted to be a beauty editor of a fashion magazine. Back then there was no YouTube. I graduated high school in 1996. So the internet was just barely getting going and everybody still read beauty and fashion magazines. So I thought the ultimate job would be to be a beauty editor and get to test out all the new products and write up a column about my favorite things. And that dream never ended up happening due to many different circumstances in my life. But what's amazing is, and I really just realized this very recently is that this job that I'm doing now is basically the modern version of that. So all these years I felt like I never really got to live that dream and fulfill that dream but it, this is actually what I'm doing right now here on YouTube. I'm reviewing makeup. It's just amazing to me and I'm just so grateful that this is actually my life. If I had told my younger self that this is what I would eventually be doing, I don't think I even would have believed it. Despite having really good grades and graduating near the top of my class, I did not go to college right away. So I immediately joined the workforce and I worked most of my 20s in retail jobs. I actually was a fashion merchandiser, which normally you need a degree for that, but I got along really well with the person that I interviewed with and he told me he would just train me and he hired me, took a chance on me. And so I did that for most of my 20s, first for a large department store, then I went to Sephora as a manager and I was in charge of doing the display windows in a lot of the stores. I would travel around to different places and set up the windows. And it was all so much fun, but also the retail world 
is very chaotic. It requires a lot of hours and time and weekends and nights. And when I met my husband in my late 20s, I wanted a little bit more stability. I wanted a nine to five. So I ended up working at a bank and I worked there for about five or six years before I had my son. So I gave up my fun jobs for a very boring desk job. And I really missed just the creativity of the previous jobs that I had and I needed some sort of an outlet. So at this time, the bank I was working for was also paying for me to go to college. So I was doing night classes, working full time, and then I decided to start a blog as well because blogs had been popular for a while. At this point, it was 2009, so I kind of got into blogging at the end of it. And I really didn't expect much out of it, but I just really wanted a creative project and I've always really enjoyed writing. So I started the Budget Beauty blog. At the time, I was flat broke. I couldn't really afford to buy products to even review on the blog. So I just reviewed things that I already had in my collection. And then I got this bright idea that I would start going around to drugstores. And I did this every day after work. I would go around to different drugstores and look for new products that were out and take photos of the displays. And then I would come home and post all my photos and just want to discuss the new products and ask all of the readers like whether they thought they would purchase purchase it or not, whether they were interested in it. It was almost like an old school version of like a will I buy it video that we see on YouTube now. And eventually the budget beauty blog did start to pick up steam a little bit and I was able to make around one to $200 a month in ad revenue just to purchase some more drugstore products to talk about on the blog. So that's what I did. And during that time I did graduate from college with a 4.0. I got my degree in marketing and a year later I ended up having my son and at that point my husband was doing really well with his job and we decided that I would stay home because the daycare costs were pretty much going to negate my income from the bank anyway. So I decided I would stay home, become a stay at home mom, and then just continue working on my blog. So I did that for a couple of years and then Instagram came around. And initially I joined Instagram thinking it would be a good way to kind of promote my blog. So I would take a photo of maybe a product I was reviewing on my blog, post it on Instagram, and then say like, hey, if you wanna see more swatches and things like that, head on over to my blog. And at that time, Instagram was just one photo. You couldn't do like the multiple photos like you can now. So it was just a way for me to kind of bring people over to the blog. But then as Instagram got more popular, I noticed a huge drop off in my blog readership. I think people were getting their beauty news and reviews either from Instagram or from YouTube, which was becoming more and more popular by the day. So at this point, I think I was more focused on my Instagram content. I still wrote my blog, but just not quite as much. I really just got into all the photography aspects of Instagram and really trying to make my photos beautiful. I would do tons of different flat lays with different makeup collections and my page definitely started to grow and take off rather quickly, way more quickly than my blog had. Around 2017, I decided to change the name of my blog from the Budget Beauty blog to Budiction, which stood for Beauty Addiction. My husband actually came up with that one. I did that because I was starting to every once in a while review a high-end product and people used to complain like this is the budget beauty blog why are you reviewing like an urban decay palette or whatever so uh budiction was just a way to kind of make it more generic but i still planned on keeping my drugstore focus so that was in january of 2017 and i also changed my instagram handle to budiction as well and around that time i noticed a rising popularity in stencil swatches people were starting to do those and at first i purchased my stencils from a company that made them. And then I realized I could just do my own and I invested in one of those Cricut machines from Michael's Craft Store and I could cut my own vinyls. I signed up for a little online program, connected the machine to my computer and I could print out any shapes I wanted. So then I started getting really creative and making stencil swatches to go with whatever the new palette was at the time. And this was during the big boom of makeup where palettes were constantly being launched. So I would do like little gingerbread men for the gingerbread palette when that came out and fall leaves swatches for the ColourPop Good Sport palette and just mermaid scales for the Tarte Be A Mermaid palette. I mean, the list goes on and on. I just had 
the most fun doing this. And at that point, my Instagram account exploded. I reached 100,000 subscribers in a little under two years of being on there. And even though I didn't really make any money from Instagram, because to do that, you really have to be doing sponsored content, which I wasn't doing, I got so much PR. I mean, just that alone was such a huge perk for me. I actually got more PR then than I do now. But again, this was during like the big makeup boom. So companies were just like throwing stuff at me. They wanted me to do swatches. I even got offers from brands to do their swatches for their website. And they did pay me for that. So I did that for a few brands and things were going really well as far as Instagram, but my blog unfortunately was not doing well. At this point, it was the summer of 2017. My readership had dropped off and I remember talking to my husband about maybe I should try to do YouTube, but I was so scared. I was terrified of getting on camera. I've always felt like I was much better in print, in writing than in person because I'm just the most awkward person you will ever meet, trust me. But one day I just gathered up my courage, stood in front of the big bay window in my kitchen with my phone on a little tripod, and I filmed my first video, which was my September favorites, and I posted it on October 4th of 2017. So we're almost at the five year mark. So I thought it'd be fun to just show you guys a quick clip of that video. I was super nervous, I think you can kind of tell. And because I was on my phone, I didn't even realize that I had the reverse image thing on. So all the products that I hold up, the writing is backwards. So you'll see what I'm talking about. About. Let's go ahead and just watch a little clip. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing my September favorites with you. So there's a little bit of makeup, a little bit of skincare, and one hair care product. So before I get into that though, I just want to take a minute to welcome you to my YouTube channel because this is my very first video ever. So I'm super excited. If you already follow me on Instagram, thank you so much. And if not, if you're new to my channel and new to me in general, um, my name is Jen. I have an Instagram app addiction and I do beauty reviews, swatches. Um, I do, I talk about makeup news and new products and I do a mix of drugstore and high end, basically anything beauty related. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So my first favorite for the month of September is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes Palette. I love this palette so much. This favorite item is way more affordable than the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. It's also another palette and it's the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. It's only $16 and it's the L'Oreal Blow Dry It uh, Quick Dry Primer Spray. And this is supposed to cut down on your drying time by half. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and I really hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. I am hopefully going to be uploading a few times a week. We will see how it goes and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! So as you can see, that video was kind of low quality. I had the front facing camera on, which is never as good as the rear facing camera. And I filmed that way throughout the fall. And then for Christmas that year, my husband bought me a Canon camera, like a real camera that I started filming on instead. And that was such a learning curve because it has so many different settings. And for a while, I still just filmed in front of windows. I didn't really know about lighting. So sometimes things looked a little dark or shadowy shadowy or you know every time the sun went behind a cloud the lighting would completely change from like a warm tone to a cool tone and everything would look blue. So I definitely have learned a lot over the years, but in the beginning it was definitely a challenge. And then on February 7th of 2018, so four months almost to the day that I started my channel, everything changed. I filmed an eyeshadow palette collection video. It took me all day to film this because I had a lot of palettes and it took even longer to edit. I was editing this footage down for days and I got it to about an hour and a half's worth of footage. But the whole time I was editing, I almost gave up several times. I was like, nobody's gonna watch this. This is so boring. Why am I wasting all this time doing this? I should just be reviewing something. But then I posted it and it actually was pretty popular and people started watching it right away way and it got better views than most of my videos. But then around April or May, something happened with the algorithm. It just hit the right way, I guess. And that video took off. They were recommending it to 
everybody because I would get comments saying like, I don't even wear makeup. Why is YouTube recommending this video to me? Please make it stop. And that summer I went from earning like a couple of hundred dollars a month for my channel to like five or $6,000 a month just from that one video, which was crazy. I don't normally even make that much now in a month. There were days that August where I was getting 29,000 views a day. And I'm lucky now if I get 29,000 views on a video even in the first week that it's out there or two weeks some of them never reach that point and I was getting that many views in a day so that video now is at 6.3 million views and in total has made me $35,000 it's my most viewed video by far on my channel and even though I do post an updated eyeshadow palette collection video every year in February none of them have ever reached that point so I think it just must have caught the algorithm right and I just got lucky but because of that video, my channel really grew in leaps and bounds. So it's kind of funny to think that I almost gave up and didn't publish it in the first place. And over the years, I've also filmed in many different locations in my home. You guys have seen all the different rooms. I've filmed in our guest bedroom that has like the Tiffany blue walls. I did that for a while. I sat on the floor of this room that I'm in now, like in front of a shelving unit with all my makeup in it. I sat in front of a blank wall in my living living room at one point in time. Then I went back to the kitchen and was filming in there, although I felt like the sound quality was terrible. It was very echoey. Um, I filmed in front of the window, which I know a lot of you guys loved that setup. It was fun because you could kind of see the seasons changing. In this particular clip, it was actually snowing, which was so cool. But I felt like it was kind of hard to control the lighting in front of the window. Same thing with like this setup where I actually was sitting directly in front of both the windows. You could see my whole backyard, but every time the sun went in or out it messed with the camera settings and things would go kind of funky. Then I went back to sitting in front of the shelving unit that I used to sit in front of before. I've sat in my living room at times and now I'm sitting here, which is sort of like my window setup, but I'm a little bit further this way into the room. And actually I'm thinking about redoing this setup entirely because these drawers that I have behind me, they're from Ikea. And I got these, I don't even know, a long time ago. I've had these forever. And that one in particular, all the way in the back is looking a little bit worse for wear. Some of the drawers are not closing all the way, they're broken. And so I was just actually talking to my husband and saying, I think I need to do something different back here. I have to get new shelving units or do something. So at some point soon, I'll probably do a major room redo. But anyway, that's pretty much the history of how I got into YouTube in the first place. And while I do sometimes miss the writing aspect of the blog, I think this is better. I do like connecting with you guys a little bit more. I feel like I can definitely reach more people this way. And I think it's just easier to show the products. I don't have to try to take photos of everything. I can show you what's happening in real time. So anyway, guys, I wanted to talk about giveaways now. I thought the easiest thing to do would be gift cards because I have a lot of international subscribers. And if I try to actually mail physical products, you know, you have to pay duties and customs. It costs a lot for me to ship it to. Shipping costs have just gotten astronomical. So I figured this way I can just send you an e-gift card to the store of your choice. If it's Sephora, Ulta, something else you have in your country, whatever you want. As long as I'm able to buy it for you, then I will. So there's gonna be 10 winners. Each gift card is going to be $100. So the link will be down below. You won't have to do anything. Just fill out your information, that's it. Just make sure that you're subscribed to my channel because I wanna make sure that this is for subscribers only. So that's about it, guys. I just wanted to pop on and again, just give you such a huge thank you and just to celebrate this milestone because like I said in the beginning of the video, I just never in my wildest dreams thought that I would ever, ever get here. I don't like being in the spotlight or the center of attention, but I just enjoy makeup so much. I enjoy talking about it and I really just started this as, as a hobby as a creative outlet and it's just grown into so much more so thank you guys for coming along on this journey with me and I can't wait to see where it goes from here so anyway guys thank you so much for being with me good luck to all of you check the description box for all the details on the giveaway and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day I'll see you later bye guys